What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to take a look at the all new 2022-23 Immaculate Soccer Hobby Box from Panini. If you don't know Immaculate, it's one of the premium sets that come out every year. And for seven cards, they've got quite the price tag on them. So these dropped for almost 1200 bucks on Panini's website. And thanks to a friend of the channel, we're here to review this for you guys. So definitely stick around till the very end to see the rating. But yeah, super excited for this one. Let's get right into it. If you enjoy this kind of content and want to see more, consider dropping a like down below and subscribing if you haven't already. It really helps out the channel and really helps us grow. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And we are actually very, very close to hitting the quadruple seven milestone. Ooh, look at this nice, smooth black and silver. Kind of opposite of that. So let's put that one over there. Uh, and yeah, let me actually open this up and show you what this looks like. One pack, seven cards. Seven cards is all you're gonna get. And let's actually get this out. And then this is like really nice, like velvet or whatever material they used. Anyway, this is probably gonna be the fanciest part of the entire thing. But uh, yeah, we got Sunny in the back, Immaculate from previous year, got his auto uh, for good luck. But um, yeah, look at this little thing. It's got seven cards in it. And um, five of the cards in this little pack are going to be like any combination of like autos patch autos or just patches and the highest numbered base card will be out of 75 which you know they brought down a bit from 80 in last year's set uh and the highest numbered auto will be out of 99 which you know is kind of nice because there's plenty to go around because those are like in booklet form like on card and everything but also bad at the same time because you know that number is pretty high so um yeah your base cards are going to be uh actually i didn't show you guys the back let me bring this so you guys can maybe read this whole thing if you want or just pause it and uh i mean i'll cover most of this stuff for right now but yeah your base cards are, are going to be uh, out of 75 uh silver out of 49 sapphire out of 25 uh, gold out of 10 and the platinum one of ones of course um it's the same with the inserts except there's only like uh base gold and platinum and the base instead of being 75 are out of 25 and the auto checklist actually has over like a thousand unique autographs so like not a single one of those thousand plus look exactly the same whether it's player design or like autograph whatever so yeah there's like an ocean of different autographs which you know you don't typically see anywhere so that's like really nice but it also means that there's a lot of filler autographs as well but when you do hit something or you're trying to look for something from your i don't know your chase player they, they've got like multiple autographs so that's nice but um yeah so let me just cut this seal and then I do want to mention that something that actually really sucks in my opinion is the fact that, you know, they don't have uh, any Brazil or Portugal and like actually a bunch of other teams too. I don't know like what's going on, but that's like similar to a lot of recent sets from Panini in 2023. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's got to be a licensing issue, but whatever it is, it's a pretty bad look in my opinion. So here's the first card. So how we're going to do this, and spoiler alert, it's um, Thomas Socek. So we're going to do this. We're going to flip this over, and we're going to get one of these to hide this bottom card so you guys don't really see. I'm going to try to remove this. So actually, I don't even see, so I don't know what's in here. Hopefully that's a booklet. I don't know. It might be, it might be a booklet, or it might be just a thick patch card. I don't know. If it's a booklet, it's like best case scenario because... That means it's on card and it could be of a legendary player so or actually the checklist has like some that are not legendary players so we'll just find out guys so i think that's basically it we can get into it that's like most of the stuff that i wanted to talk about let's put this in the back immaculate everywhere and let's actually get one of these to cover all the cards that we're about to show you all right, so this first one is out of 25. 23 out of 25 for West Ham. I know uh, Brian Cards is gonna like this one. So this is the Sapphire, and I totally forgot to get the thicker sleeves. Let me just get those real quick. All right, so let's set this guy off to the side. Personally, not what I'm looking for out of 25, because that's gonna take away from probably another base card. But let's see what the next one is gonna be. We got Carlos Soler out of 75 for Espana, wearing the blue jersey. Not a huge fan of that color.
color for Spain, but you know, they got to have some sort of away color. All right, so two base out of the way. So now everything is going to be an autograph or patch auto or a patch. And hopefully the patch is going to be not one of the ones we see, like on its own at least, because you do want to get autographs most of the time. What is that? Did we get a redemption? We got a redemption. I don't know if I feel good about that actually. But here's our first autograph. A rookie, Keen Lewis Potter for Brentford out of 99. So that's what these look like if you've never seen them. And honestly, really, really sleek, clean looking design. Like I love what they did with the foil. Immaculate is kind of known for this design. I mean, let me just show you guys the signing from the back. This is one of the acetate versions. So sometimes they'll have, um, and I think they do exist in this year's set. They have like acetate cards, which these are like the, the best looking ones in my opinion from Immaculate. And let's see what the redemption is. Um, might have to cover this one in the back and really, really need this box to come through for us guys. So fingers crossed, 24 point ink. Kamavinga, all right. Not bad. Whew, I was, man, I was really, really hoping that we weren't gonna see like some <laughs> some random filler auto. I mean, Kamavinga is like, something like super, super amazing at this point. Obviously it's not like a, I don't know, it's not like a legend auto or like Holland, like nowhere near that, but hey, we'll take Kamavinga every day. So let's put that guy over here. And what do we have? We got Argentina colors. Hopefully it's who I think it is. Let's cover that one. I think I saw some Mexico colors, but is this out of, out of 99, Argentina. Oh, all right. So this one is also acetate and we got none other than Alexis McAllister, unfortunately out of 99. So it is what it is, but oh, totally forgot to see if this is enclosed player worn. Okay, so that's a plus. I know you can get a lot of non-associated patches with this, but I love what they did. So this is clearly immaculate. That's like the whole clearly thing is like, it's supposed to be like acetate. So this is like really nice. It's like giving it, I mean, they're all 3D cause they're actually physical cards that we're holding, but um, yeah, the patch itself has like, I don't know, has a nice little uh, depth to it. So, okay, not too bad. So we got two autographs and then we had a Okay, two autographs, one patch, trying to process everything here. I don't think we're gonna get, because of that patch, I don't think we're gonna get a booklet. So we got two left. Hopefully they're both, they both have some sort of autograph in it. Oh, look at that. I don't think I've seen this color combination before. Chuki out of 33. I've never seen, so, uh, this better be like match worn or something, I don't know. Oh, come on, not associated, man. Such a beautiful patch. I think the, the pink and black goes really well with the green too. That's so unfortunate. This could have been like an amazing, amazing card. I mean, it still looks absolutely amazing. It's a nice collector's piece. Just don't look at the back. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. So, all right, out of 33, and we have our last one coming up. I think it's also gonna be, I think it's gonna be a, a legend. I see orange color, so it might be for the Netherlands. I don't know, let's put this one here because it looks absolutely amazing in my opinion. But let's see what this last one is gonna be. I think it is gonna be an acetate. It's gonna be one similar to the sun in the back actually. So let's see who it is. Oh, Michael Laudrup out of 99 for Juventus. For some reason, I don't know why I saw this orange. I thought it was maybe Netherlands, but maybe actually Netherlands is not part of immaculate this time maybe it's like a licensing issue but look at that the whole thing is on the card man i love this design this is like the previous year's design this one they just do a really really good job with and this thing looks absolutely immaculate no pun intended but uh unfortunately it's out of 99 but it does look amazing it does look really really clean so this is honestly this one and the chuki were like my favorite ones out of this whole box but I mean, yeah, this is kind of what you guys can expect. We got the Kamavinga auto as well. I'll do a recap here in a sec, but I'm just taking this, this card in. It's actually really, really nice. Quality control for these, for acetate at least, is like really, really good. The corners are in great condition. I don't know. Wow. 
Anyway, I was hoping to see maybe a Messi when I saw this this blue here, but hey, we'll take a Alexis McAllister player worn as well, so that's nice. So we got one patch. We got one, two, three, three autos. One, actually, okay, two patches, three autos. So I'm guessing that's kind of how like average these boxes are gonna be. We got the two base at the top. Started off with uh, a hammer out of 25 and then Carlos Soler. But guys, this one is, I'm really, really like, I really wish they they actually put some, at least player warrant for this guy, because this card actually looks amazing. So if any of you um, Mexico fans out there agree, let me know in the comments down below, but this card looks absolutely amazing. And it's out of 33 too. So um, time for the rating of the set. So for, I don't know, like 1200 bucks, how does this product fare, you know, in the realm of premium products? Personally, I think it's like, Unless Panini reverses what it's doing with the print run, because I mean, even though they brought down the base from like 80 to 75 from last year to this year, they did increase the print run. Um, and you know, it's it's just gonna end up being like a much less desirable set than others, like very, very quickly. Um, and you know, the overall like print run is about like 3000 cases, I wanna say. So I don't know. There's also going to be like Asia versions of these boxes with like lower serials because that's like the name of the game over in Asia. But um, yeah, those boxes will probably cost um, more like as a default. And um, yeah, don't get me wrong. This set looks amazing, but it's, it's just really going to be hard to justify singles values, you know, with this kind of output. Um, I mean, if you put all the values of all these cards together, you'll probably figure out that we didn't even come close to like 1200. So but I mean, this this product is supposed to be like premium, you know, it's like super high stakes. Um, but uh, yeah, it's not for everyone for sure. Uh, and I'm trying to think of what else we could say about this. Uh, a lot of non-associated patches like the Chuki that we saw here um, is like a super, super like big disappointment in my opinion. And I don't know, like, I really don't know when that's gonna change. I mean, for this product line, like for this, type of product like premium product this shouldn't even be a consideration for panini to have like patches that aren't even associated with anything at all um i don't know it just like it feels like things are slowly moving away from like the premium feel for immaculate you know besides the price tag the price tag is the only premium thing to it at this point um but yeah i mean the ceiling is pretty high don't get me wrong uh there's a lot of good things about this but it's just you know for the whole combination of everything as you guys can see in the rating uh, i just can't justify giving it like um like a pretty high rating like we've seen in so many other sets that came out this year from tops or panini so um yeah that's pr pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful uh i honestly enjoyed this this was like a very like adrenaline filled <laughs> break but um yeah we didn't get the best of boxes but i think we didn't get like i think there are boxes out there that are probably like way worse than this still but um yeah stick around for the 7777 sub uh video which is gonna be coming up anytime now and uh yeah group breaks giveaways and more reviews and as always we'll see you in the next one